Single moms love to glorify a man stepping up to the plate and that's what makes them a real man. But whole time, they wouldn't even want that for their own sons. And I mean, obviously there is no shocker there. T, yeah. <laughs> that's Spanish. No, because you know what? CJ said that I ain't know it. So let's CJ take uh, Cuatro. Okay. Cuatro. Say, you hear that? Grato. No, not grato. I didn't say guato. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Not no. cockro. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> cockro is great. Cockthroat. <laughs> Cockthroat. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, oh, nasty ass over here! <laughs> All right, <Hey>. video <laughs> ain't nobody complaining. Oh, video number yeah. four. Video, yeah, 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 like my man said. Video number four. <laughs> now, this content creator says single moms love to glorify a man stepping up to the plate. They be wanted the best, but not offering the best. Okay, single mothers ain't nothing but y'all ain't number half a G's. Damn. But y'all, what are y'all single fathers? Angels. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> yeah. We just G's. Whatever. If you know that. It's Fish Your Podcast. Aww. Let's go. Single moms love to glorify a man stepping up to the plate, and that's what makes them a real man. But whole time, they wouldn't even want that for their own sons. And I mean, obviously, there is no shocker there. Because whether we want to admit it out loud, everyone knows consciously that you have a better deal when you start your own family than go to someone else's. It is literally the epitome of common sense. But the reason why a lot of single moms will try to push that narrative is simply because they just don't want to accept responsibility for what got them in that predicament. And they kind of just don't want to accept the fact that they made some decisions that they can't come back from, whether they intended on them to work or not work, and now their value in the market is simply just different, okay? No one's going to the store and buying almost expired milk versus the milk that expires a month from now from the same price. Like, it's literally basic economics, but we all like to pretend as if it isn't because we like to sugarcoat things in society. And I get it, you know, feelings, feelings matter and all of that. But as a grown up, it's your job to live in reality. <laughs> Yo, T over there talking about do the helicopter. <laughs> 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 I did not. <laughs> oh man, you know what? Um, did y'all hear what she said? Yeah. Nah, what was she saying? <laughs> <laughs> y'all didn't hear a damn thing. I, I listened to uh, like the first part. <laughs> I was um, trying to um, titty, I mean, uh, tell what she... Um, what? I was trying to you titty, trying to titty I mean, what? tell, uh, trying to, you know, figure out. But no, what she... I, I, I do agree. Shut up. <laughs> Shut, I'm, I'm going to do you like you do. Shut your dumb ass up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, you want to start this all done? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try. I'm I, free, I'm I got to try to hurry up and try to remember what the fuck she was talking about. I'm going to freestyle this one. But I, <laughs> I do agree with part of what she said. <laughs> what like, part? <laughs> the first part. <laughs> what she was saying, like, I do understand that, like, you know, when she say women want men to step up, but you don't want that for your son. Your son, yeah. So I do understand that, like, I don't think that all women feel like that, but in that instance, yeah, you can't, you can't, well, you know, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. So mm -hmm. it's like, you can't be wanting a man to step up because, you know, I don't want to, the way she made it seem is like, all, not all, but like single moms, they, they were, they understood the issue with the fathers and that's the reason why they're in the predicament, which is not true. So mm -hmm. I, that's the only part I, I didn't agree with. Like you, she made it seem like all single mothers were the reason why they were single mothers. And so that's the part I didn't really agree with. But I do yeah. understand what she was saying. Like you want to you you can't be mad if a man don't want to step up and take care of your kids. Because in that same instance, would you want your son to do that for some, to, to some be woman? In that same particular. So I get I get that. Yeah, but yeah. you got now these days, like, okay, <clears throat> think about the ratio. You meet ten women, how many know how many of those women don't have kids? Especially in our age bracket. Right. Except so I mean I, I get what she's saying, but also at the same time, it's like I I don't look at it as a man stepping up. I look at it look at it as him making that decision, that conscious decision that this is the life that he wants. Yeah, and it doesn't it has okay. So let's just say he made that decision based solely first on the woman it has nothing to do with the kids. The kids came after the decision. 
So, you know, I mean, you know, everybody's perspectives yeah. are different. I mean, look, I, I want to say, I, me, myself, I had, I don't have a problem with dating uh, a woman with kids. Mm -hmm. Because now I'm no, <laughs> shit, everyone when I meet got goddamn kids, you know what I mean? Right. Daddy, it, are now, you my daddy? Yeah, oh, we ain't doing that right there. <laughs> I'm your mama's daddy. Yeah, you know what I mean? I'm, I Listen, I, I hit the baby boy, man. Fuck your fork. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it was. The problem that I have is women with undisciplined kids. Yeah, okay. see, that's me. I agree. If you like, got if you have undisciplined kids, man, it's a turn. Especially what? Especially Stay the fuck when away you from me, and especially when you raise your kids a certain way. Yeah, so, and you put the work in to get them. You know, because kids yeah. are kids, so you put that work in to get them to be polite and all of that stuff. And then you come across this this woman that she's a good woman, but her kids is just so out of control. Un Undisciplined. Uh, yeah, nah, it's like nah. oh my god. And the one thing you you don't want to it makes it makes it makes <clears throat> combining those those two different lifestyles very. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, because yeah. you don't you don't want to mix your children yep. with mm -hmm. their children, yep. because you like yo your kids are gonna rub off on my kids, right. and now it's or, gonna be a whole other issue I my, have with my child. Or my kids yep. are wondering like, well, damn, I gotta go to bed at eight thirty, but but Turquavion yep, yep. over here, he <laughs> well, back and looking through the Turquavion house. Turquavion done entered the building. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, I mean, it's ten twenty five. He downstairs. He's still up. <laughs> they not like us. They not yeah, like us. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the hell? Why we gotta go to bed? He downstairs crip walking. Yeah. Like, come on, <laughs> bro. I completely agree. Cause see, that's that's one thing I don't like. Now the women that I have dated, yeah, I let them know in, disharmony in the household. Yeah, but now, but but on the flip side, a man who's a man who has a dominant personality and a dominant disposition who can rule a household, like yo, listen. First of all. If I tell my children to go to bed at eight o'clock, your kids gonna go to bed at eight o'clock. Yeah. If you got an issue with that, then you know what? We ain't together. I've had that Period. before. I've had a situation where, and I wasn't even like telling this woman what to do. I was just giving her a suggestion. Hey, listen, your daughter is of age now. Why don't you start um, making her, you know, like be responsible? Like she's yeah. a, she's a teenager. Why don't you start uh, clean up after her? Yeah. Stuff. Why don't you make her do the dishes? Her exact words to me was. I ain't making my daughter do no dishes for no grown ass man. I said, she not oh. making them. They she's not doing my dishes. She's doing the dishes for the house. Yeah. And from that moment on, I knew it was like, okay, I can never discipline this woman. Yeah. I mean, this kid. Yeah. So it's like, and then she would be, it would, it would kind of be like a little con conflict because she'd be like, well, you don't, you ain't really trying to help her with nothing. Well, I can't reward her if I can't discipline her. Right. It exactly. don't work like that. Exactly. So it, it, it was like from that moment on, it was like, I know this ain't going to work. It, yeah. it just ain't going to happen because you parent different from me, exactly. which is fine. But we just we going. Yeah, but that, we that's just two. That's two. That's two extremes. We got a comment. Yeah. So we got a comment from Liz. Hey, Liz. She said, my sons are polite, 12 and three. And I'm getting, I get with them and get, when they get out of line, bedtime is at nine and seven 30. Okay. Liz. She is that's not about, playing Liz. no games. I know that's, that's right. I'm talking about Liz. Yep. You know what I mean? Like I said, it, there's nothing. I mean, we see all this red pill content where they're talking about, oh, man should never date a, a single mom. That's no, stupid. no, no. If you stop compromising your standards. Right. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Stop with compromising your standards. If you know that you put your child to bed at 730 and you can't put her child to bed at 730, you know what? Get the fuck out of there. Right. And, Excuse my language. Get out of there. And the because at the end of the day, it has to be it has to be some type of consensus. Consistency. Where, yeah. Consistency with all the kids, not just my kids and your kids. No, we are one one big family now. One blended. So, yeah, it was exactly. it one blended. So family. when when my child or children do one thing. All of them should do the same thing because at the end of the day, you want to start to parent them the same. And, yep. and fellas, be honest. If your broke ass can't take care of her <laughs> and her kids, then let her go. Don't try to keep her. But then when it's time to do stuff with the kids, you got to excuse. Her. Oh, well, I can't. I got. No, your broke ass can't afford it. It's OK. You could just say, hey, listen, where I'm at in my life, I don't have the ability to take on you and your children mm -hmm. and move on. But a lot of y'all try to play the game where you want the woman and you don't want the kids. It don't work like that. Yeah, Step I, up, I be a yeah. man and keep it moving till you find mm -hmm. somebody that's your speed. Is yeah, that, I had that, that some conversation point? some years back and I remember telling a guy, I'm like, look, me is like, if you want us to be in a relationship, yes, we are a package. I literally told him that verbiage. We are yeah. a package. Like, so you got to understand that, okay, he wanted, he wanted me to just like, just stop what I was doing. I can't, I can't be 
that type of woman for you. So yeah. if that's what you yeah. want. As if you were single. Right. Yeah, I can't yeah. do that. So I have kids that got to come home, do homework. I got to feed them dinner. I got to get them ready. And all four of my kids was in activities. So we didn't come home on a daily on weekdays yeah. until nine o'clock. So pretty much my time to do anything or even attempt to go out on a date was weekends. And then that was too much of a problem. So, you know, I'm not the woman for you. That's that simple. You know what? The, the, the hell with them. Right. That's simple. Donald Dump. <laughs> Donald Dump. <laughs> <laughs> so look, let, let's go to the first comment. First comment is from Jonathan Acu. Jonathan says, stepdad, <laughs> our men, single mothers will not date if they didn't have kids. <laughs> oh, shit. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Hold, hold on. Oh, shit. Stepdad. Step Jonathan dad. snapped with this comment. <laughs> Stepdads are men single mothers will not date. De- <laughs> they didn't have kids. Jonathan, who hurt you, my man? <laughs> Damn. Damn. Somebody. Damn. Did, did one of them young boys go in your, in your, in your book bag and steal $300 or something? <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I mean, he took his went and took his went his wallet, took his <laughs> motherfucking lunch money and everything. John, I mean, like, man, fuck them kids, fuck them kids, <laughs> fuck them kids. Oh God! Yeah, I mean, but you know, listen, John, the touch. Like I said, at my age, even even when I was younger, I never had an issue with dating a woman who had children. Again, as I said earlier, it's them undisciplined kids mm-hmm. I got an issue with. Yep, because those undisciplined kids will keep your ass. Single. Mm-hmm. Yep. And sometimes a lot of those women have to look at themselves like, why is my child like that? Because at the end of the day, the child is a reflection of you. It, it, wait a minute. Let, well, no, no, let me add. Let me tell you something. <clears throat> you know a single uh, 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 a child that has a father in their life because he has a good father or that child is disciplined. Like, oh, how you doing, sir? I'm like, oh, what? <laughs> What's up? Good. What's good, young man? And it's sad to say. How that you doing? You know what I'm saying? The, what? the women that I've dated, the ones who did have dads in their lives, even if they wasn't like full time, full time, you could tell the difference. Oh yeah, they, you can. They, 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 they you can. They, they were different. The ones that had no dad, it was they would be the, wild, wilding, <laughs> rambunctious, just wilding. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't agree. You don't agree. My kids ain't wild. You not the majority. We say that every episode. You're you not the majority. It's like a goddamn black woman. You're so hard headed. <laughs> so no, we I'm just get like a woman. To these comments. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not watching this damn show no more. Because if they say another thing about black women being something, I'm calling you two. F the community and the effing dialogue. <laughs> That's all right, us. women. I got us. I hold us down. <laughs> they well, they, well, we gonna get cooked in the oh car. <laughs> we love y'all. We love Friday like that. <laughs> I better not see them two dumbasses on the street. Well, that's they ass. I'm yeah, tired of them. Yeah, because we in Philly, the two one five. So make sure y'all look for uh, their faces. Yeah, that's right. I know they gotta go out and vote tonight. I'm be standing <laughs> in them lines waiting. <laughs> you don't want talking about black women. <laughs> Yeah, we little talking about we play too much. <laughs> we love you, Liz. You know how we do. Yes, sir. Uh, hey, so, um, we gonna do one more comment. Comment number two. Uh, oh, we going let's do two more. Let's do two more. Guys. So, comment number two from CeeLo Bernard. Stepdads are literally investing time and money on kids that aren't even theirs. Yep. That's a. That's a. I don't want to say scary, but that's a. That's a thing you got to think about when you. Well, yeah, I mean, but that's something there. that you. You, you make that commitment to. Like, yeah. You make that commitment to be part of their lives. They are considered your, your kids. No, you did not contribute to them being born, but they are still your child. But there's always the, the there's always the, the um, possibility that that kid doesn't have to take to you. So, and vice versa, not even just with dads, with moms too. Well, yeah, but just in this scenario, like as a, as a, as a guy, I can pour into this child as much as I want to. Mm-hmm. They don't have to receive it. And and the the thing about it is I have to do it. Because if I'm with their mother, I cannot do it. So I, I have to pour into them because I'm with their mother. But they don't have to receive it. So a lot of men feel like, you know, that's an issue with me, uh, messing with a woman that has children. It's like, I don't have a problem with stepping up. But... What if this kid does not want to be receptive of it? Yeah, then one, yeah. and I know y'all, y'all know, y'all know what I'm about to say. That's not always just a man thing. That's a woman thing too. Women go through mm-hmm. that too when they're dealing with men that have children. Yeah, yeah. And then you know, let's just say you know the the parents, the the father and the mother, they split the 
responsibilities of the kids and next thing you know you got one of them you know disgruntled mothers and oh yeah make sure that look you know you try to be the best woman you possibly can to this man's children or child but you really can't because the kids are hearing so much at home and then they're bringing it that energy to to you so it's like it makes it very very hard but you know what but now hard. now let me add to that <clears throat> I would tell my children, hey, listen, this is my, I don't care what goes on in your household, but this is my house. And if this is the woman that I'm with, she yeah, should be the lady of this that house. That is the extension of me. You That's know what I mean? So if she, if she tell you what to do, think of it as me telling me. you, yeah, and me telling you what to do. Right. Because now if I got to go and reinforce her and I got to back it up, oh, it's going to be an issue. That's your ass. It's what? <laughs> and I come with a brown belt. Damn, I got notches oh on that. I got notches on that. <laughs> hey, YouTube, we do not condone uh, <laughs> child abuse. Growing up, my, my, my dad had, had a red belt. Damn. <laughs> hey, YouTube, we do not condone child abuse. <laughs> okay. Uh, Mirror at the show podcast. Uh, I know that those, um, those, uh, Ways of corporal punishment. <laughs> we we do gentle parenting over here now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, he's our spokesperson. spokesperson <laughs> like, can't y'all tell? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so look, let's go to the last comment. So last comment is from No Fork No Spoon. No Fork No Spoon says ninety percent of the households with step parents are abusive. What? They cannot accept that they messed up. And the price is a human. You know what? Who hurt you? This yeah. Is crazy. Yeah. Right, that whole comment because they don't even my... know what the hell they talking about. But you know what? I... T, T, can you look that up? That is not. Yeah, that I is mean, not I a ain't never heard no. I have never. Like that. I, I have never heard nothing like that. Like ninety no. percent of the separate. That means that every step parent is abusive. Right, yeah. Nine yeah. step parents are gotta, abusive. You got to chill. No fork, no spoon. You must ain't have no house. <laughs> like I don't know where you grew up at. I mean, can true. you imagine a man coming in and just start whooping everybody? Yeah. Hey, Turquoise, on. <laughs> get your ass over here. Like <laughs> just beat him for for what? <laughs> he ain't do nothing. He, he been outside all day. Fight. No apparent reason. Just <laughs> taking my belt off. And everybody getting his ass whooping. <laughs> Joe Jackson on him. Damn. <laughs> like, come on. Even a dog. Like what the fuck? <laughs> anything T we got anything nothing oh, not really let me, let me see um there is no statistic on that yeah, no, that does not it it's, it's, it's sound no right. way it's it no sound right. way that would be everywhere that would be alarming if that was the case that so this is what it says it says violence against children in general is a pervasive crime worldwide. Worldwide, however only a small fraction of cases come to the attention of child protection services um, approximately 1% of children in the population are reported annually. Uh, these studies show that children living with step families particularly, particularly are vulnerable to violence for a variety of reasons. It says some step parents may not feel as they are connected to the child or the partner as their own. Um, so that, that that just gives them car blinds. It's like whooping ass. It says these, these factors can contribute to dysfunctional step families. Increasing the risk of cruelty. Yeah, but it didn't what? say nothing about it didn't say nothing about um a percentage. So no, it just it said doesn't. it said one percent, you know, most cases are probably not even it just says that it creates a more stressful living environment. And then it says it can also increase child uh maltreatment, but it doesn't say anything about abuse. Yeah, hmm. I, I ain't right. It says, that. you know, it has a, a weak emotional bond, low self worth, self control, um, yeah, but nothing, nothing about abuse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it sounds like, sound like some BS. Yeah. So we ain't feeling it. No. We sorry. ain't feeling your comment there, uh, no fork, no spoon. Yeah, you know I, I mean? We should call you sport. Like 